Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lark again, and I have another book for you. Um, this book is one of my favorites because it's really an encouraging book. It lets you know that your art, your writing, your way of doing things is great because it's your special way. So we're going to read the book Ish today. I hope you've been reading this summer as well. So here we go. And this book is uh, written by Peter Reynolds. So let's find out what Mrs. Lark is talking about with Ish. Ramon loved to draw. Anytime, any thing, anywhere. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. Ramon could not answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm done. Oh no, he gave up. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she asked, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. Oh my goodness. He was about to yell, but felt silent. He saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look Ish, he said. Ramon felt light and energized, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, and sun-ish. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. Ramon 
One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Ramon lived viciously ever after. And I believe that's the last page, but I'm going to just double check for you. Yep, that's the end-ish. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. Your art and your writing do not have to be like anybody else's. They do not have to be perfect replicas. A picture is a picture, not a photograph. A photograph is a picture of something exactly as it is, but when you draw something, it's ishish, okay? You draw it like it, what you see, and how you feel about it. So don't ever get discouraged because your pictures or your writing might not look exactly like somebody else's. It's yours, and that's what makes it special and it should be inspired by you and what you're feeling. So I hope you're having a great summer, and if you enjoy art, I hope you're doing some wonderful ish drawings of things you're interested in. Or if you're a writer and you even like to write, I hope you're writing some wonderful ish, -ish writing. All right, everyone, keep reading, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.